All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ayrton Empire. See your G-Town boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The Hajis. There is no time for too much intro, ladies and gentlemen, because today, just we have a lot of matters for Matthias to talk about. A lot of oozing and boozing has been arising, which I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includes. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be talking about matters arising in Ghana, in US, and also in Nigeria. Very interesting, innovating, captivating, very controversial, and I can't wait to dive in. So, ladies and gentlemen, just stay tuned, stay glued. But please, before we dodge in, subscribe subscribe click the notification button and don't forget like comment share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime any day I upload just stay tuned guys all right ladies and gentlemen so quickly shapali let's dive into matters arising in the day ladies and gentlemen is a beautiful brand new episode and trust me we have a lot of shenanigans penanigans renanigans arising and which i can't wait to dive in firstly let's talk about this Ghanaian gospel musician and also a pastor sonny bado has come out and he stated something that generated a lot of oozing and boozing on social media this man come out talk say eating pork is demonic that people where they eat pork now they are winches and wizard people that are eating pork they are winches and wizards and ladies and gentlemen when he stated that a lot of people countered him with their own fats even pastors came out to counter him with their own fats Eating pork is not demonic. You know, see, it's very sad that someone where they think, say, you don't acquire higher degree of sensibility, go come out, come talk something like that. It goes to show you that this way they talk in the Bible, lack of knowledge, my people perish. It be true. A gospel musician, a well-known enlightened gospel musician and also a pastor they come out the talk see eating pork is demonic the only people where they eat pork it be winches and wizard hello are you serious only winches and wizard so which means if you don't they eat pork now automatically you don't turn to winches and wizard <laughs> let's be sincere here although pork pork meat yes is written in the bible you know be good meat Yes, but you coming out to talk say is demonic. I feel like it's wrong. If you came out and you stated the fact that eating pork is a sin with what he has here, but for the fact that you came out and you said eating pork is demonic, no, you weren't serious, bro. You weren't serious. I feel like your your sense of reasoning is very low. No, you the one tell us say. People now where they eat pork, automatically they are demonic. I don't eat pork, but let's say the truth here. I don't like eating pork. Let's say the truth. Eating pork, I didn't see it as is demonic, and it can never be demonic. Make with the read Bible, they understand Bible. No, we say we go read Bible, finish, we go like we go turn them upside down and start preaching something that is not meant to be preached. And when would they even talk about demonic? Do you even know what is demonic? No, let's be sincere. If we start to analyze something demonic, let's talk about your dreadlock. Do you know that dreadlock is demonic? Do you know that that, that lipstick way they paint for your lips every time? Do you know it's demonic? No. Let's, let's, let's talk about demonic and things that are demonic. No, the, your dreadlock is not demonic, but pork meat is demonic. You are in serious. Please, go and ask them. Quickly, Shapali, still on matters for Matthias. Let's talk about CNN and our election, Buhaha. Election done the rich. So, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of shenanigans, shenanigans has been arising. People don't they come out to the claim, talk, say this person go win, this person no go win, this person go cry, this person will shit. You know, be small. Many predictions has been flying left to right center. Now, CNN don't also come out with their own predictions that P2B is going to win by 40 something percent. They came out with their own projection and prediction. Election, it's just few hours to election. 
So make we they look. Let's see. Let's watch and see how this election is going to turn up. But ladies and gentlemen, believe me, this election is full of shenanigans and penanigans. Quickly, Chapale, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Davido. Davido, eh? Davido has, has gained my respect to this point. This guy, the kind of cheerful giver when he be, eh? Oh, they boss my mind. This guy, you know, they tired to the blessed people. At this time, eh, I feel like singing, Miracle. No, they tire, oh, be you. You know, they tire, oh, be you. Miracle, no, they tire, David, do. Because this guy, he keeps on blessing people, irrespective of who you are. He never reach how many hours when he gives somebody, a KK person will just paste his sticker all over his KK. He never tell when he give him millions of naira. Now, David do don't buy fresh new car. For his logistics manager. This guy keeps on giving. That's why when you watch people where they work with them, they have he go hard where people where they work with them to leave them. You never see someone working for the video who just came out and quit. No, you you can never see them. Anybody way we wake up, say you know one work with the video again, then that person has in village people they pursue one. That person have deep, deep problem. Because Davido, when you are around Davido, you are blessed. You are gifted. If they perform miracle, when you know even expect, it will give you something. That is Davido for you. You can imagine buying new, brand new car for your logistics manager. It's huge. How many people will they do them? How many artists will they do them? We know them. You go serve them for years, even KK, KK with the cough, <coughs> they don't go buy for you. But Davido is not like that. I keep saying it, these people they should learn from Davido who rise by lifting others. And Davido's action they speak more louder than waiting in the talk. Now, quickly, Chapali, still on the matter of shenanigans and penanigans arising on Davido's camp. Let's talk about Davido's. What baby mama? This girl don't display the video's son on social media. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, this baby, eh, they have striking resemblance with the late Ifani. If you see this young boy, you go see Ifani. You go no say this is coming from the video's bosom. You go no say this one, mm, it be really the video we give him more. But I the thing say, ah, fourth, fourth baby mama. These people and baby mama, eh, they did like five and six, so. <laughs> but no blast, I just they carry the talk. Oh, yeah. Can you see that striking resemblance there? Ha! These people and baby mamas, they like five and six. I was even thinking there is no fourth baby mama. I don't know. See, <laughs> fourth baby mama don't enter. These people, they can you. Our musicians, they can you. Whoa! Whiskey is there. Distributing the video, also the same thing. But there's nothing wrong in it because the ladies they are okay with this baby mama buhaha now. The era where would they go now is the era of baby mamas. Ladies now they don't normalize this baby mama shenanigans as it be normal thing. So all they want now is baby mama. So that is the position they are positioning themselves, and is very alarming and scary. But let's talk about the videos. Striking resemblance. This fourth baby mama, the son, honestly, it they look like a fanny. When I saw that that child, it has generated a lot of oozing and buzzing on social media. People started asking, 
is this Ifani's photocopy or what? Because they have striking resemblance. They are really, really... When you see Ifani, when you see this guy, you don't see Ifani, honestly speaking. And it looks like they are even in the same height and all that. Well, congratulations to Davido. Congratulations because the ministry is moving. Quickly, Shapali, let's talk about matters rising in the camp of Arukeli. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Arukeli, the hit maker of The Storm is Over. The Storm is Over Now. I can feel the sky, the sky is over now. Let's talk about Arukeli. Ladies and gentlemen, the way they see Arukeli now, I can categorically tell you that Arukeli's storm is not over yet. Arukeli, his storm is far from being over because they don't sentence him again. They don't slam him with another 20 years imprisonment. After months ago, they didn't give him 30 years imprisonment. He still they serve that one. If I said that one, no, they are not satisfied. They came out again to give him another 20 years imprisonment. Now I can't they ask, I beg. This one a sentence, you know, they finish. Every day, you people keep on sentencing this guy. At this point, I they feel for Arukelio. I'm, I'm telling you, I am feeling for him. Because this kind of sentence, you never serve your 30 something imprisonment, another 20. How many years will we can serve? This one, we will just call them life imprisonment now. Yeah. You see how person they put himself for problem. Who who will believe that Arukeli will be in prison right now, serving? It's very sad and I feel for him. But now he will put himself for this kind of problem. You are busy dactalizing anyhow, any anybody we see minor. Come on. It is very wrong and it's very bad. And make we talk about system where they work you see how these people their system they work they no care if you are famous they no care who you are once you don't fear the law you are going in for it you are done bro once you don't fear the law you are done that is over for you ladies and gentlemen now do you see system where they work this is a clear example that our system is working and tell me how their country no go good. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter your status. Once you don't feel the law, you are going down for it. You are done. You are gonna. But when it comes to Africa, oh, yeah, Dean, once you are popular, once you are famous, once you are a musician, once you are a politician, Nothing. You are above the law. You are above the law. They feel like person will get boy for armpits when it comes to Africa. But when it comes to there, their system is working. Their law, not they sleep. Their law, 247, their law is at wake, waiting for who go mess up. But here in Africa, our law, they sleep, they snore. Sometimes you go, they wonder if they give our law a petition. Because the way our law, they snore, they sleep, eh? it'll be shocktalizing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not getting it right in Africa. That's why we have gotten beyond our metabolism. No this and no peace. Quickly, Shapal is still on the matters for Mataya surrounding election buha. Let's talk about this lady. We no get sense. <laughs> she came out and she posted a clip castigating P2B that Tinibu they busy they share rice to people. They give people money to vote for them. Him, he they they, they do stingy, stingy. That she is voting for person where they give him something. No, person that gave him something. She is voting for the person. You can see the kind of mentality we they get in this country. If the way they do we. Let me play you that clip so that you can see what I'm saying. We know bless her just the candidate. Oh yeah, let go. Who they check Now give me rights that I go vote for. You don't concern anybody. May may to be there they do may they play. May, may they play. May, 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 may they do only man now who give me rice that I go vote for who they check
check up. Who they check up? Now let's dissect this issue very quick. If I give you money to vote for me today, tomorrow would you have the right to come out and hold me for not delivering? Will you have the right to come out and tell me that I didn't deliver? Of course, you don't have any right because I've paid you off. I have paid you off. So you don't have any right to come out and hold me responsible if I didn't deliver. You see what I keep on saying that it be we they do we. Every day you still have some Nigerians that have sold their conscience when no get sense. They will still come out. And if these same people will come out tomorrow, they shout, we need change in this country. This country is very bad. We need change. This government, blah, blah, blah. They are still the people who will go run, sell their votes. You see that we are far from metabolism. That's why we keep being on the same spot. Because you will still get some Nigerians who will get their... That will still come out and sell their conscience, sell everything, sell their future. And this APC, honestly speaking, they are not fit again. Tinibu is clearly not the person we will look out for. Because this man has showed us beyond all reasonable doubt that all he's interested is to come and look to lies. Is to come and neutralize the remaining where they remain. This man has showed us beyond all reasonable doubt that he's full of corruption because he keeps on giving bribe, giving money to some to people because he keeps on giving money, giving items to people that are ready to sell their votes, their conscience, and their future. Way, this is it. You see the way he they he they secretly they give money. And you tell me that this kind of person where they secretly they give money will not secretly neutralize our economy. We don't they see the handwriting on the wall. We are seeing it. We don't they see what thing they happen. If we see Nigeria would they for dying minute. This man is not the person we will look out for. Ladies and gentlemen, if we don't wake up and say no to this corruption. If we don't wake up and say no to this corruption, to this bad system, to these bad leaders, incompetency in this our system, ladies and gentlemen, we go wake up, there will be no Nigeria because we day for dying minutes. Let us vote wisely. Election is just around the corner. No this and no peace. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. It's over. May we... All right, that will be all in today's episode. And you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued, stay connected. But please, always remember to subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button. And don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends. So that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Thanks for watching. God bless.